Hello, Trial of Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls Solo Challenge Black Belt Slash Monk Mode with me, Blue Ankylo. Hey guys, last episode we killed the Lich, and that's it, because we had to level grind to kill the Lich. Today's episode, we're going to try to make some more progress. So uh, those are our stats, in case you're wondering, level 36, and uh, of course, very little equipment, and not much else to do but punch things, so let's get her done. I'm not super excited about doing this dungeon as a solo monk. The only good news is that it's a fairly short dungeon if you know the route. And you might not get turned to stone if you can run away. So good start. That group's about as good as a group of Paralisks. So wish me luck, YouTube. And uh, so far, making some progress. This is a good fight for experience and probably not going to take too much damage, so that's okay. And no, I don't need the piano lessons. Whoa! Oh, sorry, that was just loud in my ears. I turned my volume up. It should be fine for you guys. Alright, so let's kill some clay golems. They're fairly tough, but... Yeah, 100 damage, actually. If they got a chance to get hasted, they would probably punch back pretty hard. But we got them. We got another eight, a level up. And we got the Zeus's Gauntlets, which is what they really are known by. Which is definitely a nice upgrade. I'm actually going to put a save here. Just because I don't want to have to reset over and over again if we end up stuck. Like, we're probably dead. So, Mind Flayers, first time we've seen them as a monk. They've got uh, Stun Lock for the whole party and Death Touch. They are the friggin' worst. And they're one of the main reasons why I don't like the Citadel of Trials. So, uh, even two is, like, basically impossible. So that's why I put the save down. Again, it's kind of cheating. I don't feel super happy about it. But I don't like this dungeon very much. It's short. We're already, like, a good way through it. But, uh, I don't like, I don't like staying here any longer than I have to. I guess I'll pick up the healing staff. Uh, mostly because... Uh, this could kill me. Mostly because it's close. And an extra fight against the nightmares doesn't really make any difference. But if I kill, if I get killed by mummies while I'm doing this, I'll be mad. Alright, so the gauntlets were a good pickup. I guess theoretically they might be enough to kill mummies. Uh, two times. We're probably dead. Should have just tried to run. Yeah, you see, that's one of the things. I get comments that tell me, like, Blue! You really need to get the area of effect magic and uh, item. And uh, if you get it, you know, you can kill enemy groups of undead guaranteed in one round. I'm like, no, that's not how it works. The uh, the Zeus's gauntlets, they're handy, but they're not going to make the black belt or thief all that much better against groups of undead. You're probably still going to get stun locked and killed unless you can escape. Um, because of the way intelligence scales, um, uh, like magic damage scales off intelligence. Um, black belts just not very good at. Uh... Oh, these guys are gonna stun lock me as well. I'm screwed. Come on, get out of there. Um, but yeah, almost every encounter down here basically has a status effect instant death kind of thing. Almost every single battle. So we've actually been, I would, I would say, quite lucky to get this far. And I did put a save down right in the middle, so imagine having to start over every time if you did this legit. Alright, a little bit of money, no big deal. Might be safe here. Alright, well seeing as we made it all the way here, I'll put a save down for the boss fight. Dragon zombies can also stun touch you, so better kill them quick. They also hit really hard. Uh-huh. Maybe we'll make it? Okay, we got we got to go first, we got the win. That's good. So honestly, I would give that a very lucky Castle of Trials. Um, we died, I don't know, half a dozen times. That was still very quick in comparison to what I was kind of anticipating. So, a little bit of good luck on that one. The only, like, the main thing about the Castle of Trials is it's pretty short. So, um, you just need a, a bit better luck on the random encounters. Just 
to not get the impossible encounters and you'll be out of there fairly quick. In the um, NES version, the green cat men or man cats, they were a lot more dangerous because they used level 2 magic. And uh, a big group of them on an ambush would have just killed us. So that would be another battle. Like almost every battle in there, if you're playing solo with no ribbons, uh, pretty much can kill you. That's why I don't like doing it. Like almost every single random encounter, if you're pre-ribbon, has the ability to wipe you out. Anyway, what's done is done. We did survive. We've got a better armor. Our bracelet gives us a little bit more defense, so that helps. It's not what I would consider game-changing, but it definitely is better than nothing. Um, and that's, I mean, the gauntlets... Uh, I'd be surprised if the gauntlets really get us much. But, uh, you know, I'll try to use them a couple times. The enemy that you normally need the gauntlets for if you're on the NES uh, or the White Mage, the, the Solo Thief NES or Solo White Mage and either, I believe, you need a way to kill the eye that guards the floater and uh, the gauntlets are basically the only way to take it out because you can't use uh, Diera on it and a weak physical attack like the NES Thief or White Mage has, you'll just never be able to kill it before it, it uses death magic on you. So that's the main reason to go there. The, re the other class is like, it's nice, but you don't need it. I suppose the gauntlets makes this river trip a little safer, but this is not usually what you're worried about if you're trying the ice cave. This this river system, that's not too scary. Well, here we go. Time for some Avern of Ice. How many tries will it take? So like, this is the kind of encounter with the birds that the gauntlets will make some difference on. I mean, mostly we're trying not to get turned to stone or sleep. So in that situation, the gauntlets did literally nothing. Um, but if we had had an action, in theory, we would have killed all the birds in one shot. Probably not the mummies though, ever. So, I mean, if we ever get an action... Hey, we got an action. Yeah, the birds are low HP, but we still can get sleep locked. So it'll probably be two gauntlets to kill the mummies. Sure, it's better than trying to do it with physical, but that would have also been two chances to run. And if you were able to run, um, you'd just get out of there anyway, so. Oops, wrong item. Alright, you know what? That was not the worst. So, um, the actual, the real reason I wanted the gauntlets was for large groups of, uh, Pisco Demons or Wizards. I'm just gonna save it here to save some time. I spent enough time restarting in the Earth Cave, I feel like it's legit. Uh, Spectres you'll basically never kill with Gauntlets, they've got too much HP. So either try to physical them or run, Gauntlets are not gonna save you. Uh, Wraiths? I don't remember. They might be killed by a Black Belt, but... Honestly, I didn't get a turn anyway, so what does it matter? Oh, oh. It's, uh... Do I get an action? Nope, never mind. I thought I had a chance. I was a contender. Do I ever get a turn? Okay, so yeah, this is what I was saying. Gauntlets, as much as they sound like a good idea, and if you're playing as a black wizard or a black mage or a red mage, they'd probably do enough damage to uh, kill most of the weaklings. They just, they don't really change anything. You need to escape or not get stunned. And the, the, the gauntlets don't really change that for this fight, so. I don't really feel like going to the uh, the Castle of Ordeals makes very much of the Ice Cave any easier on this character. Some classes have a lot better benefit for it. Like I said, the Thief and the White Mage get a lot more value out of that dungeon. And if you're playing as black or red, it just doesn't even matter. Even the... well, no, then you'd be... No, no. Black and red, you may as well just do the Ice Cave immediately. Fighter and Black Belt, I don't know. It doesn't really matter much. Alright. Bam! Now for... I'm gonna save it because, you know, we made it far enough. The next very difficult encounter is right here. And, uh... Technically, the gas, the red-shirted zombies, I think the uh, gauntlets would do enough damage to kill them. Just none of the ghosts. 
And even then, I'm not 100% because uh, the Black Belt is pretty bad with staff spell damage. Like, I don't mean to rant, I just I do get a few comments that tell me to go to the Cavern of Trials first. Specifically to get the Gauntlets because they're going to make this area so much easier. And I don't actually believe them. So, uh... I think we would have been doing the same thing here either way. And the big difference is, of course... Uh, that was nice and lucky. The big difference, of course, is that if we did the Ice Cave first, get the Ribbon, and then go to the Castle of Ordeals, the Castle of Ordeals becomes completely safe. And that definitely helps. Okay. That's not good. Yeah, bad encounters. I should have saved after this fight. I just... Yeah, this is just going to take too long. I guess take advantage of the game, the Dawn of Souls edition versions. Yeah, this, this is going to take so many tries. Like I've said, I'm sure a billion times by now. It was less difficult to escape from these fights or avoid the stun lock in the NES version, because I had to redo the whole ice cave every time I died here, and we just die every single time there's stun locks. Like, it's just crazy. I don't really know, like, obviously this was not an intentional part of the game design. I don't expect they ever tried to think about balancing the remake, the Dawn of Souls remake, for a solo class run. But man, oh man, do the Black Belt, Fighter, and Thief get a bad deal on solo runs. The, uh, the mages seem to be okay, because they don't get stunlocked like this. But, um, I mean, sheesh, this one battle is going to take me more attempts than the Lich did. Because I just, I can't, I can't get an action to run. And even if I use the gauntlet, it's not going to kill them all instantly anyway. So it's not like it's much better. I'd rather take that chance to just get out of there than waste a turn doing 40 damage. Hey. Oh, I, I actually had an action. I could have... Uh, I didn't need to reset. <laughs> Alright, come on. We got a preemptive strike that time. That was just totally luck for the encounter rate. We managed to get a, a, a free run. A free flee. Good, that's one of the nice encounters. Thank you, Blood Bones. Alright, and... Oops. Eye Potion. So, luckily, as the Black Belt, we do pretty good damage single target. So the Evil Eye is no match. And honestly, uh, might be worth trying to get a couple level ups out of. Maybe. It'll be two fights per level up right now. But as long as we go first, and he's got pretty low uh, agility, we can get pretty great experience. But now it's three fights, or four fights. Now he used Thundera, didn't he? I wonder if that's his first spell. So then all we have to worry about is getting thundered, which isn't going to kill us. That's better than him starting with death. I don't know, maybe we should maybe we should hang out here for a little while. Leaving this ice cave is gonna be terrible. So at least let's have some fun killing the eye for a couple minutes. Hey, some HP. And nothing else. Come on, stats. Give me some better stats. I I don't think the eye can actually kill us. If we kill him in one round every time. And all he can do is cast Thundera in his first attack. Then there's nothing he can really do to stop us. Just want to see how much... We're three less than a Silver by Nature and 12 less than a Ruby Armlet by, uh, by basic stats. Well, level 43... Hmm... Oh, he used Gaze. He could have paralyzed us on that attack. And then if we were paralyzed long enough, he'd get his instant death spells. 
So maybe it's not a 100% free battle, but it's pretty safe. I'm thinking of getting one more attack per round here, actually. We're up to 10, but we'll get 12 attacks per round and one or two more level ups, and that's not going to take very long. That might have been enough. No, one more level up, I guess. Yeah, I mean, can you think of a more efficient experience spot for the black belt right now? I bet you you can't. 12 attacks? 12 attacks it is. All right. Well, that'll make the next fiend boss a little bit easier, doing a little bit of grinding here. All right. I'll take that. All right, now we just need to get out of here. We got seven level ups in a couple minutes. Pretty good deal. And of course, as soon as you fight the undead with the stun lock, there's nothing I can do. Do I just need to get another uh, uh, preemptive strike here? Because they got an ambush that time. <laughs> ah, solo challenges. They bring out the best and the worst of the game. Nope. Paralyzed before I even get an action. Every time. Nope. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? To save on clicks, let's save it right here. wonder how it's different, like, you just sneak from the right. Nothing different. I don't know why I attacked. That was a mistake. Run! As soon as I try to run, I fail and just get massacred. All right, there's lots of red ones. The gauntlets would kill all the red ones, but I didn't even get a chance to use it. Sorry, guys. The gauntlets just don't really help that much. Against the uh, the Pisco demons, the wizard enemies, sure. Maybe against this group if we get a turn. Okay, so it does kill the, the zombies. Okay, so I will give you that in that specific encounter, the gauntlets probably made it a little bit easier. Although, it still would have been better if we just ran away on the first turn anyway, but, you know. It takes a very specific encounter down here for the uh, gauntlets to really make any difference for the black belt. Please don't kill me, sir. Thank you. I don't think we fought any of the mages or fighters, the uh, elfy looking things. So this is the fight that I was talking about. I know we can win it with just physical punching. But, I think two castings of uh, Lightning 2 should kill them as a monk. And that's a bit safer than um, trying to fight them all, like basically killing one per round. Um, especially in the NES version where there's no magic damage scaling, Lightning 2 will usually kill all of the wizards in one attack. And that definitely makes that encounter a lot safer. So, anyway, um, there you go. That was the, uh, like, these guys are weak to lightning. 78 damage is just not really very much, is it? Yeah, that was like three rounds of casting it and it did less damage than uh, punching three times. Unfortunately, I'm just, the way the Dawn of Souls remake works with magic, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of value as the monk using those uh, spell casting items. So, I like to show them off, kind of get a feel for them, but when people post in the comments that it's a great idea, I, uh, I shake my head. Just shake my head, and then I make a, a call-out video. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a call-out video and call out all the bad advice I get. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to do that. Oh, you guys are going to laugh when I come back with my ribbon. I'm going to be pretty as a princess. And then all your status effects will do nothing on me. Uh, I think I overshot my turn. Totally did. There we go. All right. So I guess one perk for doing the Citadel of Trials first is we don't need to buy a ruby armlet. So that'll save us a little bit of money. Not that it really matters as a uh, black belt, but we'll still buy the Protect Ring. So this now doesn't give us as much armor as a as it would for a normal character, 
but the death protection is too valuable. So even if you have a decrease in defense, you'll want to equip status protection. It's just, it's just that good. Stock up on high potions. Oh, uh, let me sell the ice sword, the silver bracelet, the steel gloves. And honestly, the healing staff, like, it's not worth anything. You can use it to probably heal, like, 20 HP in battle for free. Not good enough. Alright, so then the most important thing we ever do... I guess I could have got promoted first, but meh. Because you did the Castle of Ordeals first, before the Ice Cave, you can go straight to Bahamut and get promoted before you go to the Waterfall, but meh. The Waterfall is what we really care about. We go chasing the Waterfalls because... They're better than the lakes and the rivers we're used to. Let's see if I got that right. Someone someone in the comment section knows. You know who you are. Alright, so we just got to survive one more short little dungeon here. Um, I would say that the encounter selection in this area is a fair bit safer than the Ice Cave or the Castle of Ordeals. Um, the enemies will hit a little bit harder, but there's a lot less status death down here. Um, less stone, instant death, and uh, paralyze. Mostly less paralyze. Beware, X death comes. What if the black belt turns into X death after he saves the day? That might be this canonical ending for him. Goes insane with power. Then a team, the next team of four crystal bearers comes to steal him away. For some reason, he turns into a tree. Seems likely. That's a lot of mummies. That's a lot of mummies. That's the worst. That's probably the worst group. Without access to fire, uh, fire magic or um, harm magic, that's got to be. Oh shoot! I didn't save it at all. That's got to be the worst group you can hit down there, and I was so close to the ribbon. So, that sucks. Okay, this time, let's be smart about it and save it. I don't know what I was thinking. Thinking I didn't need to save it like some sort of chump. Alright, this time for sure we'll be fine. Now that I've saved it, we can't die. You know what? You guys can't even kill me. I have a protect ring. You scared me enough when I was five years old. Now it's your turn to flee. It's the music. It's turning me evil, everyone. Beware. The black Ankylo arises. Alright, that's a pretty nasty group. Let's get out of there. Oh, you know what? It's not even nasty. I could have just used the gauntlets there. That's a really good group for the gauntlet. Give me my cube. Thank you. Goodbye, friendly robot. Alright, most important upgrade. Slightly less defense. I don't care. I'm immune to statuses. That's way better. Alright, and the defense as well. Definitely a good upgrade. The def it used to be called the defense. Now it's defender. That's fine. But yeah, now we're immune to all kinds of statuses. Like, all of them. So I fear no bird. I have a feeling when I first played the game, I didn't realize that ribbons... In fact, I know when I first played the game, I didn't realize ribbons protected you from all status ailments. And I didn't realize they also protected you from elemental damage by half as well. So it took a little bit of time before it was sort of... Before I noticed it. Because like when you go to equip them, they've got pretty low basic defense. Like they've got the same... I think they have like, like one... Physical defense, which seems pretty bad if you've got, like, cool mithril helmets or whatever. I did not make that mistake when I played Final Fantasy VII for the first time. And, uh, once you get the ribbon accessory, whew, still pretty good. Even in 3D. So I wonder if it's faster for me to gauntlet these. Two rounds. 
you know, eventually, if you get enough level ups, I bet you the black belt could do 80 damage with the, uh, the gauntlets. I think, I think the mummies have 80 HP. That's the number that I remember in my head for some reason. Oops. I always make, I, I make that wrong turn more often than I, I would like to admit. I think a lot of the times I'd come here after being promoted with the exit spell and you just avoid the backtracking anyway. Okay, so with that, Waterfall is down. We are in sort of go mode in a sense because we should be able to go pretty hard on most groups. Now, we still have to kill things one at a time, mostly. But we punch hard and our HP is pretty high up there and we're... We're protected from magic and statuses. And if I want to use the defender, we'll be pretty much protected from physical as well. So. I mean, that is always the, the, the trick, right? Like, your actual defense stat doesn't mean very much when you can get your evasion maxed out. Anyway. Goodbye, antidotes. I'll never use you again. And goodbye, Confused Staff, because I don't care. Sorry, Confused Staff. Nobody likes you. Alright, so let's go get promoted. Probably won't have enough time to do the next dungeon for this episode. But that should be okay. Promotion party time. Now, to be honest, if it's like the NES version, then promoting your black belt just makes him weaker because he gets less magic defense after he promotes than he did before. I'm assuming in Dawn of Souls they fixed that bug. Anyway, we look, I would say, a little bit cooler now. We look a little, little bit more grown up, and I appreciate that, even if we don't really gain any actual advantage by promoting. Right, garbage cave. Why did I go there? But yeah, unfortunately, there's really no statistical gain for promoting as a black belt or a monk. Um, all that promotion really does is unlock spells and weapons and armor. And we don't use any of that, so... Alright, X-Potion, that was kind of the goal here. Hey, seriously, get out of the way, stupid dragon. I always get tricked by this Hellfire Chasm. I don't want to go there right now. Maybe some other day. And I think I have an elixir to pick up. Not here, but, you know, close. Close by. Oh, wait. This was the garbage one, right? Okay, so we picked up an elixir, an X-Potion, that's good stuff. You know, uh, we might as well turn that fairy in and get our Oxy Ale. Because there is something we need in the Water Temple, and it's not just the Diamond Armlet. There's an item that for this entire Solo Challenge series I had completely forgotten about. And I did know about it because I've used it before in Dawn of Souls. But for the purposes of this solo Let's Play challenge, I'd completely forgotten it. It completely skipped my mind. And it will make killing Chaos so much easier. I don't know why I didn't think about it. It would have made the solo night run a lot safer. But I didn't think about it. So that's my bad. I suppose you'll probably have to wait till the next episode to find out what I'm talking about if you don't know already. I'm sure there's some people that have been screaming at me in the comments section for the last five Let's Plays of Solo Final Fantasy. Well, I'll give you credit. You were right. I should have come here earlier and should have remembered to do it on my other runs. I just... It doesn't do anything. The item I'm talking about... I know I'm playing hard to get here. But the item I'm thinking of in NES Final Fantasy 1 does nothing. But 
when it's translated over to Dawn of Souls, it does do something. And it's actually very good something. Um, and I just... It never, I was trying to avoid, like, optional content in the solo challenge runs. Like, I didn't want to do bonus dungeons for extra cool weapons and armor that makes the, the base game too easy. And I kind of lumped the new item in with that. But it's not. It's a vanilla item that's just been fixed from the NES version. So because of that, I it just totally never clicked. I'm like, oh wait, that's the answer I needed to How to Kill Chaos. Maybe I'll record a short little catch-up video at the end of my uh, night solo night run, because that's really how we should have killed him in that one. Uh, oh well. What's done is done. We did it without it. I did it the hard way. We'll show you the easy way for the Black Belt Master way. Well, it's going to take a couple of episodes to get to Chaos, but we're blasting through pretty quick now. Okay, folks, so thanks for watching. We're level 50. We're going to go dive into the Water Temple to pick up some loot. And then we're going to start killing fiends. And we're not going to stop until they're all dead at least twice. And that'll teach them. And then they'll never harm us again. Until they harm the White Mage and make her cry. And then I'm going to cry. And then you're going to cry. And we're all going to have a little pout. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for my secret treasure reveal.